Every once in a while, there comes an idea that radically changes the way we think about things. While we are amazed at its creative brilliance, what we don't realize is the relentless dedication, continuous hard work and the unwavering belief of the minds behind it. The minds that turn dreams into success. They are the real change makers. Students attending classes from the comfort of their homes to teachers taking classes at their convenient time online. Who would have thought education would take a 360 degree turn in the last one and a half years? Well, not only did someone predict this, he predicted it long back, 10 years ago to be precise. Vedantu was one of the first edtech companies to introduce live online tutoring in India. While educational institutes relied on curriculum, pedagogy, teaching methods and practices, Vedantu focused on giving the power and choice of education to the students and the teachers themselves. The man who made it all happen was none other than Mr. Vamsi Krishna, CEO and co-founder Vedantu. So, how did a simple experiment in a small Punjab village turn into a revolutionizing edtech idea? Let's hear it from the man himself. Vedantu has been an outcome of friendship, right? Uh, rather than the other way around. Four of us who started our first venture and all of us sort of knew each other in our IIT days. We used to think that, can we do something together? So parents were strictly against it. They were like, you know, we didn't send you to IT, you know, to do this, go join jobs. So succumb to the parental pressure, join jobs. But while working during those six and seven months, we were always in touch, figuring out, is there any business plan we can, you know, create together? Me and my founders, we ended up in a very small town in Barnala and started teaching kids. One of the big ones was the best of the society do not become teachers. And when people like us, and we were all 2005 graduates from IIT, when people like us become teachers, the kind of delta and the difference that creates was phenomenal. And we tried to solve this first through offline ways. Did that for almost six to seven years. Didn't really succeed. We started thinking, how do I ensure quality teachers reach to this remote tier three, tier four locations? And that was really the Eureka moment, you know, when this concept of live tutoring and online teaching uh, came in the mind. I can tell you the very first year, there were some 36 kids and 11 of them got to the top five IITs. And that was like a big, big validation of this concept that if passionate, you know, teachers can come in and start teaching, the kind of difference that creates is, is actually phenomenal and massive. There's been no looking back since then. <laughs> Technology, needless to say, has a pivotal role to play. So in 2014, internet was a big challenge, device was a big challenge, and uh, 4G was not there. So that is why we started with a basic construct of online teaching, which was one teacher teaching one student. Then iterated, innovated, lot around the content, technology and platform. And I think after one year is really when we are able to crack one teacher teaching multiple students. So this can be 40, 50 students together in a live synchronous manner uh, without compromising on the personalization and the interactivity the price point of it came down substantially. And this really, really, you know, enabled this whole thing to scale. So now we had a great teacher sitting in a place like a Bangalore or, or Bombay, but able to reach all these remote tier two, tier three locations at a price point which is much, much lower than the equivalent offline price point. So when we used to go and tell them that, you know what, your kid can study online. The first thing which comes to their mind is online. How can online study happen? For them, online is always games, and this other distractions. In fact, they used to think about how do I keep my child away from online? And we used to go there and tell them, you know what, we will make your child come more online. And this was a classical conflict. We used to then give a lot of demonstrations. And when the kid and the parent used to witness that over one or two sessions, that is really when they used to see that, you know what, the quality of this and the quality of the content teacher is, is 10x better than anything else I can find in offline at a much lesser price point. And that is really what used to convince them to adopt it and, and try it. Right from day one, uh, in 2014, when we started, 
the first thing we did is create our own live teaching learning platform which we you know very fondly call us as wave it stands for whiteboard audio video environment and this was much 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 better than anything else out there like a zoom or a google hangout or anything of that sort because this was custom made for teaching and learning now how does technology help us here the first is bandwidth so on this it's not a video transfer it's it's something you know uh, far less intensive than that so as a result of that we were able to operate even in sub 100 kbps kind of a bandwidth at that time this was very very critical and important for us the second advantage we had because we were using this platform is because the teaching and learning is happening on this we can capture multiple data points so using technology today on vedantu we can capture the expressions of the child we can also capture whether he or she is looking at the screen not looking at the screen how much time did the child speak versus teacher speak what was the interaction level what is the sentiment analysis of this there are almost 76 parameters we are able to measure right in a live online class which is impossible to do in an offline setup second thing is content so the content improvisation happens through data and third is teacher training because of this data we are able to train our teachers better so technology is not just playing a role of enablement here it's actually a fundamental to be doing something like online tutoring uh, and for a company like vedanto it's obviously you know core for anything to create an impact it takes time right it takes long time and this entrepreneurship journey is full of roller coasters it's so much ups and downs probably in a single day you will witness a lot of ups and downs so someone needs to be that much more strong mentally and the way you can do that is to actually have that much more passion you know if you can truly believe in what you are doing that actually gets you through all of this right so grit and tenacity just the ability to just be at it you know keep on going for me you know would be the top attributes for any successful entrepreneur <laughs> with increments in bandwidth with increments in processing power you will have students sitting from their own home with vr headsets and probably participating in a class wherein the entire class would be let's say in a valley and where the teacher is actually showing them a valley and they can actually you know feel and experience a valley and that's really where i see the next innovation of teaching and learning you know to be and for these kids apart from academics what is very important is inspiration and motivation and someone to come and actually tell them that they are not the first ones to do doing it right there are a lot of things which from your own experiences you can teach them idea is just the start but in order to execute on that idea what you really need is a stellar team who is not just you know thinking and executional capabilities but also have that passion every vedan here in vedanto not just works but works for a purpose and that purpose is not transactional that purpose is really about affecting a life of a child wherein if we can do that then really we are transforming uh, a generation and they can do great in life